Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today we're going to look at a trig identity problem. That's 4 sine of x, cosine of x equals root 3. You have to use a double angle identity to solve that. Let me put the camera over my shoulder and we'll get started. So this is a hard, hard problem. We haven't really talked about double angle identities. Here they are right here. Here's your double argument identities. Sine of 2x is equal to 2 sine of x cosine of x. So if I'm looking at all my trig identities, I can see that sine of 2x, and that's kind of looking like this right here. Sine of 2x is equal to 2 sine of x cosine of x. So that's a double argument identity. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. And I could see that this right here kind of looks like that right there. The only thing is I have a 4 here and a 2 here. So that's where I'm going to go to. So the way I, I get there is I divide both sides by 2. Dividing both sides by 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now I have 2 sine of x, cosine of x is equal to root 3 over 2. And I can see now, looking at that double angle identity, 2 sine of x cosine of x, 2 sine of x cosine of x is equal to sine of 2x. So I can see that's going to work out. So I'm going to replace this right here with this identity, sine of 2x. So sine of 2x is equal to root 3 over 2. Then from there, I still have to isolate my variable x. And I have a 2 in front of it. I'm really taking the sine of this whole thing here. So I have to take the arc sine of both sides. I take the arc sine of the left side, arc sine of the right side. This cancels with that to give me 2x by itself. And that's equal to the arc sine of root 3 over 2. Remembering this is a dependent variable. I'm looking for an independent variable. There will be an infinite series of solutions. It's a positive ratio of sides where the opposite is root 3, the hypotenuse is 2. So that's going to happen right here in the first quadrant, root 3 over 2. Or right here in the second quadrant where the opposite is root 3, the hypotenuse is 2. Adjacent's 1, negative 1. I recognize that as a 30-60 triangle. So this angle right here is 60 degrees, and this angle right here is 60 degrees. Okay, I redrew this triangle to have a little more room. So one solution is 60, and one solution is 120. But also, 360 degrees plus 60 is an answer. 120 plus 360 is an answer. And in fact, when I take the arc sine of root 3 over 2, I have an infinite series of solutions one of which is 60 plus 360n, another is 120 plus 360n. So the arc sine of root 3 over 2 is this whole series of solutions. And remember, 2x was equal to this. So 2x is equal to this. So 2x is equal to 60 plus 360n, or 2x is equal to 120 plus 360n, right? So now, to get x by itself, I divide both sides by 2. And I can see that x is equal to 60 divided by 2, 30, plus 180n, right? Or, divide by 2, x is equal to 60 plus 180n. So there's an infinite series of solutions. And if the domain for this problem were all real numbers, that would be your answer for x. So if your domain was x is an element of 0 to 360, then I would know that 30 would work, 60 would work, 30 plus 180, 210 would work. 60 plus 180, 240 would work. 30 plus, if n were 2, 360 and 30 would be 390. Outside of the domain, that would not work. 
if it were in radian measure, it would be the same solutions, just in radians. This would be pi over 6, pi over 3. Um, what is that? 7 pi over 6 and a 60 reference, 5 pi over 3. So if you're in radians, that would be your solution. If the problem were x is an element of all real numbers, then you would have the series of solutions. So I'm not positive if I got it right. So what I could always do is take one of these answers and plug it back into the original equation. So I'm going to take that 30 right there. OK, now that I have my solution there, I should be able to take that solution and plug it back into my equation. 4 sine of x cosine of x is equal to root 3. So I take that root 30. I'm sorry, I take that 30 degrees, plug it in there. Take that 30, plug it in there, and it should be equal to root 3. So I take 4 sine of 30, sine of 30, right? Sine of 30 is 1 half. Cosine of 30, cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2. And that should be equal to root 3. So let's see, 4 over 1. 4 cancels with 4, and I have root 3 is equal to root 3. I could take every one of these angles and plug it back in and see that they work. So hopefully that helps you solve the problem. 4 sine of x, cosine of x is equal to root 3. You use a double angle identity for this because this looks very similar to 2 sine of x, cosine of x. And to get to that point, I divided both sides by 2. Thanks for watching.